Hi there, this is Imke from the BI Accountant and in today's video I give you a brief walkthrough to the new Power BI Cleaner tool that I've just published on my blog. What this tool does is it helps you identify unused columns and measures. Here for example you see that the column name in the customer table doesn't have an entry in the well used column so it isn't used anywhere in the report while the field company name is used in visuals and roles as well and here you can see that usage in many elements on of power bi reports is identified um, within calculated columns within measures within relationships within all sorts of filters visuals groups roles and also within the formulation of conditional formatting rules. The only er area that I'm aware of is currently not covered is if fields are included in incremental load policies. So if you have things like that in your model, you have to make sure uh, not to delete the fields that are used there. But apart from that, all usages should be identified and flagged in the tool so you can safely delete all the elements that don't have entries in the where used columns. You have the where used columns um, in the tables report and you also have them in the measures report. So let me just show you how to apply all this. First you open the report that you want to analyze and connect with DAX Studio to it. So I have DAX Studio open already. I go to the home tab and click on connect to select the correct model. So in this case it's this report that I want to analyze. I connect to it and then I go to the advanced tab. So here I click on export metrics. That's what you usually do to create the VPAX files for the VertiPack analyzer. And as my tool relies on the same logic, we have to create this file as well. So just click on export metrics here and save the file. Next, you go back to your Power BI file and save this file as a template file. Therefore you go to file, save as, and change the save as type here from PBIX to be PBIT and save it to, to your folder. This is all you have to do with your old file. So you have created two files, a template file and the, VP and the VPAX file. Next you open the Power BI Cleaner file that you can download from the blog post and edit the parameters. Therefore you go to, in the home tab, you go to edit queries, edit parameters and you have two parameters here. First is the file path to the template file that you just saved and the second one is the file path to the VPAX file that you have saved. Just fill in the full file paths here, click OK and then you click refresh on the home tab as well. This will refresh all queries and adapt the data to, to your specific file. And then you can go to the tables file and here you see all tables and their, and their columns. And there you can just check the column where used, where you see which fields have been used where. And in addition to now which fields you can delete, you can also view details for the used fields themselves. So for example here for the column net price, if you right click you can drill through two pages. The where used direct page will show you where the column net price is directly used in. Here we see it's used in a sales measure and in a sales column and here you see the DAX expressions for them. And on the other hand, if you select the drill through to the where used indirect page, you see some more lines here. Here you see that the net price is used in this 
sales measure three times. And on the details, you see that it is, has been directly used in the sales measure, but also a measure new used sales measure that references the sales measure indirectly uses this column as well as another measure that is dependent on, on the previous measure. So here in the indirect pages, you basically get the full picture of field usage. And let's just check another one here. For example, if we um, select an element that has multiple usages, um, expressions and roles, for example. If I drill through this one, here I see another row for usage and roles. And here on the details field, I see some more hints on in which role this has been used. And same like for columns, you can have for the measures. Here is the list of all measures in your models. And you see that we have two measures that haven't been used anywhere in the model. So they can safely be deleted from the model to make it more manageable, for example. The other tables here are basically the Vertipak tables. So if you know that you want to use the Vertipak tool and um, want to identify potentials for model cleanup, you can use this Power BI Cleaner tool and have basically all the tables from the Vertipark analyzer in here as well. Yeah, that's basically it. I encourage you to read the blog post to get some more useful links and some more details about the tools. And in general, of course, I would strongly encourage you to make a copy of your file before you start deleting your fields, just in case that you can roll back. Yeah, so I hope you find this tool useful and it works for you. If you have problems with it or detect bugs, please don't hesitate to post it in the comments here in the on YouTube or also on my blog. Thanks a lot and stay curious.